Hi everyone, another video, another Yu-Gi-Oh video, and this time we are going to be doing Yu-Gi vs. Weevil, which is annoying is the first word that comes to mind when I think of this duel, because Weevil just sort of stalls until he gets his perfectly ultimate Great Moth or whatever, the, I think that's what it's called, perfectly ultimate, or just the ultimate Great Moth. Either way, he literally just tries and stalls for like six turns by just having a bunch of monsters with high defense and kind of just sits there with his high defense monsters being really damn annoying, so. It's kind of hard for me to get a good video of it, but anyway, he um, uses Hercules Beetle already, so. I can just Monster Reborn that back. Which is kind of nice as a, uh... Something to attack with, at least. And I just Palmerization here. Just get Guy the Dragon Champion out. Or, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Very helpful. Especially at this point. Like, the second turn, you already have your Fusion out. Like, that, that's just good. It was a good hand, for the most part. The only thing that I could possibly say was meh was getting Rude Kaiser instead of like Summon Skull or something. But, I mean, even that isn't really necessary, you know. Then he uses the Howling Insect, draws the Hercules Beetle, puts that in defense. And I just kill that. Yeah, he kind of just keeps on stalling with those kind of cards. It's boring. Yeah, and that card right there, I can't see what it is, because it won't let me actually, like, watch the video in full screen, it'll just show me, like, a bit of the video on a smaller screen for some reason, but I remember that card with the eye in the middle, that, or, I remember that being a huge, like, nuisance. It was so annoying. I don't even remember what it does completely, but it's very annoying. Plus, he has the Swords of Revealing Light out, so I can't even attack. So. Oh, I think it was like... <sighs> you basically got a, um... You got more attack for the level difference of your monsters. I think it was like 500 more attack for like each l like level difference, which was really dumb because his little petite moth there ended up <sighs> having like over, well over 2,000 when that's not okay. That's not a card he had in his like original deck. Like I've never even seen that card before. I've never even heard of that card before. I played this specific duel with him. It was very dumb. <laughs> One very nice thing is that he put his Petite Moth in defense. All I really need is something to kill it. Although he has Cocoon of Evolution as an equip spell on it, so... It has Cocoon of Evolution... Bleh. It has Cocoon of Evolution's defense on top of its own, so... I can't really destroy it, even though it's like a level 2 monster. Very dumb. But since he couldn't attack me, I can get Curse of Dragon out with the Horn of the Unicorn. There is it up to like 2,700, I think, or something. Yeah, I believe that's what it says. So get rid of that. Although he gets it right back, which is very annoying. Because the thing is, a lot of his monsters, except for the Great Ultimate, are semi semi low level like level two the petite moth like his big thing in that deck is level two so that's very annoying and then his other monsters are like level four or something so if you want to tribute something oh hey it's going to be stronger than your tribute most likely Yeah, so I just summon 
Mammoth Graveyard, and I don't really have too much to do at the moment, so just try and kill his cards, but he always has cards like that where he just keeps on summoning more monsters, and it's very annoying. As you can tell from the length of the video, this this really does show to be a stall, just because of how he freaking plays. Place more defense monsters. No. Ugh. I don't know, I just find that very annoying. <sighs> yeah, I was kind of contemplating whether to use Burning Land, like, maybe wait or something. That's not too bad, because it, chip, it chips at his life points just a little bit. That's the main reason that I would use Burning Land, at least against him, because you want as many life points as you can chip out. Got another Curse of Dragon. Don't think I can really do anything here. I just kill that, but next turn he's gonna summon something else in defense. Yeah, one thing I don't really think I like about Yugi's deck so much is that his normal, like, level 4 monsters are not very strong. Like, they're good, but they're not great. They could be a lot better. Like, I know one card that's very good is it's a dragon card called Alexandrite Dragon. has 2,000 attack and... I think it's like 100 defense, but the idea is that you use it for attacking, and it's just a normal monster, so it's good for a level 4, just a normal level 4 monster. It's very good for what it, what it is. I can get that with the Celtic Guardian, which I know I was relieved about, like, finally a s second monster that I can use. Give Celtic Guardian some attack, because half its monsters have, like, 2,000 defense. And current of Evolution is one of them. That's a level 3 monster, too. I didn't actually realize that before. Yeah, and then he just throws a revealing light, so I can't attack him for another three turns. Like, oh wow, thanks man. So much fun. Glad to know we're playing the stall game. Yeah, he's at 14 cards right now. This is just obnoxious. Turn, what is that, 28? Can't exactly see it, but like... I don't really have to see it to know that's not okay. I can just look at his cards and tell that it's it's been going on longer than it needs to. One possibly valid strategy might be just defending it. Waiting for him to deck out. I mean, it'd be boring as hell, but it's a win, right? It's a way. And not much else to say about this. It's kind of just stalling from here on. We will just sort of use a bunch of stall cards until he gets out perfectly ultimate great moth. But the only problem about this is that he can't get out. Perfectly ultimate great moth. So he's kind of just sitting here doing nothing worthwhile. I wouldn't even mind if he was. If he had like the freaking. Cocoon of Evolution out or something, trying to get turns or something. Like that kind of stall. But at this point, he's just delaying the inevitable. Like, come on, man. Come on, we're almost done. Please, just end this.
Oh yeah, I remember doing that just because I was like, you know what, fuck this dude. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely say F this dude at that point. Yup, yup. I, okay. Yeah, F you too. Bye. Ugh. Anyway, that was Weevil. He's just, it's literally just stall. If you get out Guy the Dragon Champion, then you should be well off as long as getting rid of his field spells. See you guys.